Fucking French toast. Painting, painting, painting. Watching the last action hero. Fourth comes out of the back. Whew. All right, last action hero. This, this right here on my head, this is how we combat headaches. We learned this trick in Japan. These are everywhere in Japan. The cooling relief migraine gel sheet, which this would also probably be really good on the bike, but it doesn't really stay on your neck that well. But dog, on your forehead, tits are legit. Just playing movies in the background while I paint. Today we went to the grocery store. While at the grocery store, I got a phone call from Dirty Urn. We really, you know, we really, we've really lost this man. I recreated the bike. I did this myself so you can see where I broke it. A little rigging here. I just screwed some things back together. It doesn't look completely broken. So uh, yeah, they're gonna finally come pick that up tomorrow. They're coming to get it. I'm not going there. I don't have time to go there. Anyway, Alex just left with some packages. One of those packages being the 4D Ultra. I'm not gonna keep them. Here's the thing. It's a $220 shoe that I'm not gonna wear. You know, I'm just not gonna wear it. So I'm not gonna keep it. And if I'm gonna spend 220 on a shoe, it might as well have boost in it because it's still the most comfortable. It's just logic, dog. Logic. I'm not gonna put myself through it. We watched Jawbreaker earlier. That's a fucking ridiculous movie. I haven't seen that in a long time. And uh, yeah, now I just gotta figure out the bike replacement. Finish this painting. Wait to hear from Dirty Urn, who's again in the wind right now. He's in the wind. I don't know. The Vegas may have been a bad move for him. Maybe it's a great move. Maybe this is his calling. We'll see. You'll see. We'll all see. New bike tires. These are 28s because I put 32s on there and that bitch is slow as fuck. So 28s, we're putting these on tomorrow. I haven't worked on King Kong today at all. I did do the inventory for the drop. But also, what? I said we are not going out to eat. Well, it's Saturday. That's one thing. Do you want to tell them what you did or should I tell them what you did? What I did? Yeah. Well, it sounds like it doesn't matter what I did because she's going back immediately. That's since, not. Since there's no chance. That's not what I fucking said. That is I, what you said. You said you could bring her and Sophie. That said you could. You asked me if I wanted you to take Sophie too, and I said you can. So you want me to take her back though, so. Who? The new one that <laughs> I'm not naming because. I don't know. I don't want to deal with the rabbit. That's not the point. Let's talk about the fact. See, you're just trying to skip over the fact you went out and said you were going one place. I. You pause, went to another pause, place. Pause. Sounds I was really like, bad. I'll isn't be it? back. And then you were all pressing me. You said, "Where are you going?" And I said, "It's a surprise." And then and you, you lied to the antique mart. Uh -huh. and that was a lie. Okay. So then you came home with a fucking live animal in a box. And what did you say to me? What did you say that it was? Why you didn't tell me when I got upset? Why you didn't tell me and said that you lied because you you went I and did it behind surprise. my back? A surprise. <laughs> Have you even seen her? You haven't even seen the new I've one. I've seen her poke her head out. I hope they get along. If they don't get along, she's going back. What if they the kill each other? They won't kill each other. How do you know? What if they're from rival rabbit gangs? The thing is, is you lied, now we have a second fucking rabbit. That's the real fucking, <laughs> the real truth that. of the matter. Wait, second can rabbit. Show them? No, I'm not. Oh. It hides anyway. I know, because she's scared out of her mind. Well, that's because she wants to go home. No, her home, she was caught hopping down the middle of the street with a bunch of other bunnies. Maybe that's the life that she wants. She was gonna die. She's on an adventure. It's not your place to take her out of her adventure. It's too hot, isn't it? Come here. Come here. I just want them to meet you. Oh my god. I know. She's very scared. She's cuter than Sophie, so just get rid of Sophie. She is. She's got one loppy ear. It's really cute. You're very cute. I'm gonna put you down because I can tell you're scared. Alex thinks this is boring. Y'all don't like this part. Anyway, I'm hanging cameras. Wait, the podcast room, so that we don't have tripods everywhere. This is gonna be much easier. Today, getting ready for tattoo. A lot of work. Basically, I have a lot of drawing to do. It's like my mantra, but I do have to finish a uh, Liquid Death collab. So, just busy stuff, but yeah. Earn's a reseller now, as you learned yesterday on the podcast, so. 
We've lost you to the streets. So I'm a reseller. You've lost me. <laughs> this, you predicted this might happen. You going dirty souls? It might be where the deals are dirty, but the souls are clean. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I like the, it. With you, it was like we wear our sneakers. It was not the reseller thing. It was like we would get sneakers. We were plugged up. Get You were plugged up. So JC was like, look, here's the deal. He's like, you want to make some extra money. Do you have a credit card with like no money on it or any kind of credit? And I'm like, yeah, I got a card with like 5000 I got a card with like 13000 Just stick with five at first. You yeah, wanna... let's start with five. Well, he's... You ever seen Boiler Room before? JC's like, what you should do is resell shoes. And I'm like, dog, I'm not like, I can't resell shoes. And he's like, but here's the thing. You're like, I don't even know what these shoes yeah, are. Yeah, No, I, I, uh... listen. See these? They're fast. They're fast as fuck tomorrow. Why don't you let her go? I'm gonna. I was letting her. Uh, not in here. I'm gonna let her go outside. Tried to make pizza last night. It was a total failure. My crust was a fucking failure. Thought my ramen noodles were a failure. Not like my pizza crust. So today, in the middle of drawing all day, we just got done with the drop. The drop is live. I don't know what will be left by the time you see this, but it is live. So I'm working on liquid death drawing all day. King Kong's on timeout. He's over there. He's waiting. We're almost done. We're getting closer. <laughs> today I gotta do liquid death and work on the next drop. So I'm busy and I gotta make a pizza. I'm gonna start with this pizza. Well, if this works, it's gonna be a very artisanal shape. <laughs> That's how I would describe it. It's an artisanal shaped pizza. Uh, it also may just come out as like a burnt. <laughs> I don't fucking know. This is gonna go, this might not go well. There's flour everywhere. <sighs> See my pizza? You're being such a hater today. You're not even gonna look at my pizza. My plants are dying. Oh, it's beautiful, though. Very artesian. It's rustic. It's coming off the thing, so that's good. I didn't think that was gonna happen. They're really not bad. Yeah? I mean, it tastes okay. It's not pretty. I can eat it. All right, it's time to go. Five o'clock, baby. Five o'clock. By grad success, we are much faster. So, we're getting ready for this. Girl. This geisha today, which is pretty ridiculous. Start that, we're just gonna outline it this morning. Uh, I just had breakfast. I've been eating this French toast every day. Greg Doucette, YouTube superstar. Greg Doucette, super entertaining guy, but he's a bodybuilder, crazy, crazy guy. But he has a lot of knowledge, and he's fun to watch, and he rides bikes. He put me onto this French toast, which has been amazing. I eat it every day, like every day now. Shout out to Greg Doucette. You should check him out. If you're following some weird ass diet that's making you crazy, I think you should. Check out Greg Doucette. It's cooled off today. Outside is cold. Like, not cold, but today I actually stood outside for a second. Amazing. done tattooing for the day. We got that thing outlined in like two and a half ish hours I think. We got some chicken. I'm about to make up uh, for today and the next couple days. I don't want to cook every fucking day. And then tonight we're actually going out to the wind buffet I do believe with Dirty Urn. I'm gonna draw some more today. I know it's just been repetitive like me saying I'm drawing but I have really like it's really come down to riding my bike <laughs> drawing. Trying not to eat like shit and you know, taking dabs and shit like that. But Win Buffet, supposedly, with number one power reseller. So we do have that to possibly look forward to. I need to see if we need to make reservations. KitchenAid, had to order a dough hook. Needed one of those. Buffet. Reservations are suggested. Monday, August 31st, four guests. Ugh, damn, no, no! Well, dot, 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 we better pick somewhere else. Damn, look at that, a live L. A live L! No reservations available, Bill. So now I'm gonna take a dab and relax and try to figure out where we're going. Dinner last night was eventful. Not Japanese. No, but yeah. don't, don't ever give me a sandwich like this. How is she gonna say all that stuff and this is a sandwich? That ain't no sandwich. I mean, it might be the best sandwich I ever had in my life. Yeah, don't eat the whole thing. <laughs> That's 
time to go ride. Well, another morning. Second morning on the skinny wheel. Oh, shit. And we're flat, baby. But we're like pretty close to the house. Oh, man. We we're making great time, too. Now we must walk the rest of the way. Shameful. <sighs> Riding too hard, dog. Riding too hard. The new tire might just be too delicate for this tr the loop that I've been doing. Figure it out, I don't know. It's a little frustrating. I mean, really what's frustrating is I wish I had like four different super sick bikes and I didn't have to deal with all this shit, but I don't. So I have to deal with it. Today oh, is Tuesday. Our man Alejandro flew in from New York to get tattooed, so we're gonna go pick him up. Finish up his ribs, which we started last year in Colorado. Last night's dinner was pretty good. Ernie Earn definitely went in. He tipped all of his resale profits. I mean, he, the dinner was expensive, so I don't know. He went off, he's going off, he's balling out of control. But dinner was good, we went to a place called Edo's, it's tapas. It was pretty solid, it's pretty good food. I won't lie. I will not tell a lie. Fixed up. We don't know what happened, but we got a flat. But we're fixed up. We tattooed, we got the bike fixed, we drew, we watched more Cobra. Cobra Kai is amazing, I gotta say, amazing. And now we're going out and get dumplings, me and Alex. Dumpling dinner date number one for Vegas. Shanghai dumplings, which is the style of Yokohama. Hopefully these are amazing. He'll be amazing if these are amazing. He'll be life changing. Are you ready? find this apparel company but uh we're just riding a bike this morning we uh and vlog at the same time okay so uh, we are motherfucking out here we're not on our loop after the flat tire yesterday i decided i'm done with that loop too aggressive for these fucking tires and uh there's also an embroidery out but now i'm just exploring just we're down in this industrial district about seven miles from home early we're just cruising 77 degrees today too which is Incredible right now, incredible. We're getting through this heat wave, son. We're getting through it. Oh, yeah, baby. 